G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today what we have in front of me on the bench is another RC speedboat. This is called the HJ806. Now the um, added features on this particular boat, this one actually comes with uh, LEDs uh, on the front here. As you can see you've got some headlights and on the back as well we've got some tail lamps there which is uh, pretty uncommon on uh, RC speedboats. Like I've, I've got a few boats myself over the years and None of them had uh, already inbuilt uh, LED lights on them, so that's pretty cool. Um, also, this one comes in at around, I believe, just under $80 US or under $100 Australian. I think it comes in at around $96 or $97 Australian. This is a brushed powered RC speedboat, guys, not brushless, but uh, it does have a rather large 540 brushed motor on this one. And uh, they're claiming on the box here 200 meters of range. So yeah, usually boats like this, they usually stayed around 100 to 150 meters of range. So yeah, this one actually says 200 meters of range here. Okay guys, so let's have a look at some of the features they've got on the box here, because there's quite a few here. Uh, like I mentioned at the start, it's got LED lights at the front and the rear. So it says night cruising lights. We got a low voltage uh, reminder. So basically what that is, is that uh, this boat has a two-way communication system or telemetry with the actual uh, transmitter. So once it gets low on battery, it will sound an alarm to tell you to bring it into shore so you don't get it stuck out in the middle of the lake or the pond. All right, uh, we've got 35 kilometer an hour top speed rating. Uh, it says limited speed cruising just next to it here. So it's probably got different speed rates, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, 200 meters of range, like I mentioned earlier. 2.4 gigahertz, of course. It says it's waterproof, which it uh, should be because it's an RC boat. It says it's got water cooling uh, circulation. I believe it's around the motor and possibly the ESC as well. Uh, high strength anti-wind. Okay. Uh, high energy lithium battery. All the different directions of control. And it says big current stuck protection. Okay. With a prop on there. So... Um, I guess it uh, has some sort of protection so the motor won't burn out if you get stuck on something. And it's got uh, over sailing reminder. So if you go um, further out than you should, it should uh, beep at you as well as a telemetry feature and anti-collision protection. Now this one does have the anti-capsizing feature here uh, as demonstrated on the box. So if you have it uh, turned upside down, it flips over can easily uh, turn it over and keep going in the water all right guys now this one also comes in three different colors we've got the red we've got the green and the black okay guys so here is how the uh, boat comes packaged in this uh, foam casing so pretty neat we've got a little protective plate there of plastic probably stop it from moving around in the uh, box here is the battery it is a lithium-ion pack 1500 milliamp hours okay and uh, Looks so like it's got the standard Tamiya plug there. A lot of these boats I notice, especially the brushed ones, they come out with the uh, Tamiya plug. Even the brushless ones do. Uh, we've got our charger here for the battery. Okay. If you uh, don't have any chargers, you can just use this one. Looks like we've got the tool, got a little uh, prop wrench, uh, one Allen key, and extra propeller in there as well, and a nut. Okay. You got some spare parts there. This one will be your boat stand. There it is there. And then you can just sit the boat straight on it, just like that, okay? So uh, that's how you store your boat. There's a pretty nice looking boat here. It's actually got a more of a darker red than what's shown on the box. And it's got like a metallic finish. It's more of a darker red. Nice looking boat here. Pretty decent sized rudder on the back. Okay, so this is a pretty decent sized boat. Okay, it's already got the uh, little rubber cap installed. And there is the uh, water outlet on the side there. Okay, to jet the water out. And here is your pickup inlet to suck the water in and give you that uh, cooling of the motor uh, inside the water cooling there's a couple of sensors there so once you put this in the water that's when the transmitter or remote control 
will be activated okay guys we also got a couple of sensors on the top just in case you get the boat upside down in the water you can sense that it's in the water and give the boat power all right but uh yeah nice looking boat here i like the design of it um, looks very similar to um like a phalen uh series of boats uh the ft009 very similar to that uh it's the same size as that particular model and the ft012 brushless that i've got and uh yeah there's a feature of this boat it's got the uh the little uh, headlamps there on the front and on the rear it's got tail lamps on it on each side so that's pretty cool it'd be really good uh once the sun uh goes down at night take this for a rip around the pond <laughs> all right so uh let's take the top shell off okay it's just the cosmetic shell and then we've got the waterproof sealed shell underneath let's just get that one off okay and this one has the actual rubber seal gasket as you can see there keep the water out and there it is there guys pretty neat and tidy pretty simple layout okay so you've got your esc wire ESCs out the front. Okay, we've got a battery bay in the middle here for the lithium ion pack. Could probably run this on a lipo with an adapter for the Tamiya plug. Um, and we've got the servo at the back here. Okay, so that's a pretty neat setup here. And of course, we've got the water cooling just there for the motor. And that is a 540. It even says on there, if you can see that, 540 brush motor there all right so it should give a pretty decent power uh, they do claim 35 k's an hour on the water so it should get pretty close to that you know so yeah we'll soon test that out guys okay guys onto the transmitter here pretty basic transmitter okay we've got the power switch on the top got a throttle trim and a steering trim okay really nice wheel it is plastic there's no foam on it but very smooth wheel Fully proportional of course we've got the smooth trigger as well so yeah and uh we also have a lighting button here that's to turn on and off the lights you turn it off during the day to save a bit of power okay and this just takes uh pretty sure it takes four double a batteries in the bottom which you'll have to provide yourself okay and last but not least we have the uh user manual pamphlet here okay so it shows you few of the specs of this boat and some other different models and this just folds out with everything you need to know okay that i've gone over in this video okay so if you're new to rc boats you might want to have a good read of this there's also some information on the back how to operate it okay and also there are some parts lists here you need spare parts we've got all our part numbers you could probably get a lot of these parts online maybe on sites like aliexpress or even banggood who supplied me with this boat today all right guys so that's basically it in the overview uh, i'm going to charge up this lithium ion pack now and then we'll head out to a pond and uh see how it performs all right guys so that'll be coming up next Okay guys, I'm here with the HJ806 speedboat and we're at a different location today. I haven't been here for a while, so I thought I might stop by and uh, check it out. Usually there's a water feature in the middle there, a bit of a fountain that's been turned off, but it looks pretty uh, clear and clean, this water. It's not too bad, all right? So uh, it's pretty small, but it's good enough to demonstrate this boat today. So um, let's... Uh, take this one for a rip now as you can see it is bound to the controller now we've got a beep and we've got some led lights here on the back and on the front we can turn them off as well with this lighting button to save a bit of power okay i'm going to leave them on and let's take this one for a rip first time running the boat 540 brush motor it does need a trimmer it is going to the right so i'll trim it out a bit okay bring the steering trim in the middle a bit and that's better
and I can see the lights. It is daytime, obviously, so it's not going to be as bright as during the night. But I can see those tail lights are on. Be really good to drive this one at night down the local pond or lake. Those lights will really show up. Pretty good in the turns. Now this uh, boat is meant to have a 200 meter range. It's pretty impressive. Not many boats that I've ever had claim 200 meters range. Usually they're around 100 to 150 at the most. Pretty decent rooster tail coming out of this one. Not bad speed as well. It is brushed, it's not brushless. It does have a large motor. And we're supposed to get around seven to eight minutes, I think, on this battery. I'm filming this on a separate day from my unboxing overview on the bench, a couple of days after. So that is with the trimmer all the way to the uh, maximum, but you can turn that down, especially if you're, uh, if you're buying this for a kid, you know, you can get them used to their first RC boat, as you can see, it's, uh, that's about halfway. And you can, it's fully proportional, you can bring it down even lower. And it's good enough for your kids to learn on at a slow speed. Okay, but we'll flick it back to high. And because this one is water cooled, you can see the jet coming out the side there. On the left hand side of the bow, I'll go by again, you can see the hose pumping out the water from the cooling system. Now, of course, we can turn the lights off, save a bit of power. Might do that actually. Just turn them off. See what the circle is like. It's to the left. Pretty tight turning circle. I'll flick over to the right now. Yeah, not bad. This also does have the anti flip function. So if it is upside down, you can um, overturn it so you don't have to jump in the water yourself and retrieve your boat. So most of those, most of these boats have that feature these days. There's not many that don't have the anti-capsizing feature. I might demonstrate that for you guys by purposely, I'll just bring it in. Okay, as you can see, I've got the lights turned off. So what happens if you've got it upside down, okay, all you do is throttle back, forward, and you're good to go. So just like I mentioned, you just throttle back in reverse and then forward, and you can see it just immediately tipped over, and you get going again. It comes in especially handy if it happens in the middle of a lake or pond, to be able to bring it back. These ducks are uh, sussing out the boat here. Now once I run this battery down, it should, by right, beep pat me and tell me to bring it in when there's a low voltage warning. So this turned out to be a pretty decent location to run this boat. It's not overly fast. As you can see, 
runs off the lithium ion pack. Uh, LiPo, of course, is going to give it a bit more pep, a bit more go. Um, you just need a Tamiya to Dean's plug converter or Tamiya to XT60. If you run XT60 batteries, and I'm sure, especially with a high discharge rate, you, this boat will get up and uh, go a fair bit faster. When I revisit this boat, I might run on a LiPo and show you guys the increase in power. But that'll be for another day. We're getting some pretty decent run time. This is the same size boat as a FT-09 from Phelan and the WL Toys 912 featured on the channel a while back. Exactly the same size boat. And even the Phelan, uh, what is it, the FT-16. The one I painted yellow was uh, green, like an army green. These are all the same size. Well, again, a really good run time. I'm expecting it to beat, but it's not. <laughs> Pretty decent rooster tail coming out of the back. And like I showed you on the bench, uh, on the box, there are a couple of different colors. You got a, a fluoro lime green color. That would have been a pretty decent one to get. And uh, you got a black one as well. This red one was the only one that was available. But it's a pretty nice colour. It's actually a bit different to what's on the box. It just looked like a solid bright red, but this one actually has a metallic, sort of like a burgundy red finish to it. It's really nice uh, paint on this one. This is definitely a great boat for beginners, that's for sure. Not too sure if this comes in a two or three battery option. I only got one battery with this one. But the controls are super precise and very smooth, guys. Put those lights on again bring it in you press the light button now you're not going to be able to see the front ones on camera that much you can see the red ones there on the rear so one day i might go to my local pond once that fills up it's still pretty dry out there at the moment uh, where i usually go i might go at sunset just where it's about to get dark and uh Take this one out. All right, so there you go. We've got the beat. And we've got enough power to bring it in, guys. And as you can see, there's an the LVC flashing warning on the boat itself. Okay. So that is the run time. That's the full run time of a fully charged lithium ion pack. I'll put that up on the screen. Let me just turn this off so it just doesn't keep beeping away. So that is the exact run time we're going to get out of this HJ806 boat. Pretty decent run time out of that lithium ion pack. I was expecting it to sound the warning beep a couple of minutes ago, but no, she kept uh, she kept powering on. And uh, yeah, pretty decent boat, guys. Uh, like I said, very responsive controls. Uh, this transmitter system is meant to give you 200 meters of range, which is quite impressive. Uh, this might be a good candidate to put a FPV system on the top, especially if the uh, area that you're going to run this boat in, uh, you know, you've got a massive lake that's probably 500 or, you know, 
a kilometre along. Um, this would be a great candidate for FPV, especially at 200 metres distance. You're going to have a lot of fun uh, driving this around, especially with some FPV goggles. So yeah, this is a pretty decent boat, guys. I like the addition of the lights on the top and on the rear here. You've got the tail lights there. Um, not all boats have that, you know, lighting system. So it's another extra feature on this one that sets it apart from, you know, the standard uh, boats of this category and price range. So, uh, yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching. If you're interested in picking one of these up, like I said, there's three different colours. You've got this uh, metallic red, you've got a black one, and a really bright uh, green one as well. I particularly like that green one. It looks pretty good on the listing. Um, yeah, you can check this one out at banggood.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll try to get a coupon code for this one as well to shave a few extra dollars off so you save a bit more, guys, okay? If you're new to the channel, thanks very much for stopping by. Sure to appreciate it. And uh, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff. And for the rest of you guys, thanks for tuning in once again. Hope you enjoyed this uh, review on the HJ806 RC Speedboat here. So anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video. Until next time, enjoy the hobby. And bye for now.